What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Welcome to the channel if you're new. I really appreciate you guys for being here today as we listen to Knower Forever by Knower. I'm not familiar with these guys, but Tepper, who specially requested this, uh, let me know that they did everything on this project with live instruments, um, which is obviously very impressive. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, does it feature the guy who plays saxophone? You'll absolutely love the Knower album. It's all recorded with real instruments, like they use the sax player from Clowncore. Okay, yeah, so it does feature the, the guy who plays saxophone on, on Clowncore. So that's really cool. Uh, it's a really interesting detail to, to this project. So it should be very interesting to listen to. Um, before we do that, let's do some plugs. You can specially request any album that you want if you send in a $30 donation to the channel using the Streamlabs link that is pinned in the description of this video on YouTube or pinned at the top of the chat if you're watching here on Twitch. It's just how I monetize these videos because ever since I started uploading them uncut to YouTube, uh, they have been copyrighted and uh, copyright claimed and demonetized and sometimes outright blocked, uh, in which case you would have to be a patron of the Patreon to get access to that video. Everyone in the $5 tier and above on Patreon gets access to the early uncut ad-free versions uh, of these videos and the blocked videos that don't get to make it onto YouTube. So, that's a great way for you to support the channel as well. You can follow me on Twitch and get these videos live as they happen, be in the chat. Let me know what you're thinking of the music as we listen to it, or you can stick around on YouTube. Just don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you would support the channel any one of those ways. And if not, thank you for being here and for watching this video at the very least. It means a lot to me. It's great to see you. So with that done, Let's jump into Nowhere Forever. I'm really excited to hear what they have for us. It's 11 tracks. Track one is the title track. Let's get it. I really like these like sweeping sort of strings. They remind me of like uh, when conductors want to convey like wind blowing. That's sort of what I get from this. Yeah, definitely feels like a movie score almost. This is very nice. Oh, I love this to start the project off, man. That shit really felt like a movie.
This is groovy. Fantastic bass line. The horns sound fantastic. I love the drums here. They sound so nice. Great keys. Here we go. Nice piano solo to get me going, okay. Holy shit, man, this is exciting. Oh yeah, little descending melody there. There's a flute on my left ear. Wow. Drummer is going insane. So fast paced. That that bass is so nuts. Very funky here.
little offbeat blips. Oh. What the fuck? Oh, uh, here's the sax player. Holy fuck. Oh, I could listen to them shred all day, dude. That's crazy. The arrangements are so tight. I can't believe this is. One more and then we got it. No, you got it right now. <laughs> that was incredible. Good God. Hey, Tepper. You've been here the whole time. Oh man, you should have said hi. Damn. I'm glad you've been here the whole time. You haven't missed anything then. This one already sounds like it's gonna be my favorite so far. It's gorgeous keys. So emotional. The horn following her voice. So pretty. The arps. Can't believe how much I like this. The way her voice just kind of floats on the beat is... She's got such a soft, feathery voice. Oh man, I have goosebumps.
These guys know how bad they are, man. Bad in the good way. <laughs> They're sick and they know it. Holy shit. Those are the worst, Blair. You can get through this. Good, good. Then let it, yeah, let it do just that. These vocals? Come on. Oh, this definitely feels like clowncore. This feels like something clowncore would do immediately. Even the way that they're like stuttering on the keys. Just extremely heavy syncopation. I'm pretty sure it's the same drummer from Clowncore. This sounds like the same drummer. Oh man, that's so tight. Yeah, she's killing her performance too. Oh, this is so pretty, dude. God damn. The strings following along. Shit, yes, dude. <laughs> Man's got the fastest fingers in the West. <laughs> Those slow rising strings, yeah. The tension they build is so sick.
It always reminds me of Angela from The Office going, I hate jazz, just play the right notes. <laughs> that shit is awesome, dude. Gorgeous, sweeping string outro. The next track is called Nightmare. I can't begin to imagine what that sounds like. Okay. Little upbeat. This does not sound like a nightmare at all. Dude, her voice is so sweet. synths that are following her voice. Nice. A nightmare please don't wake me up wanting to stay in your nightmare is nuts <laughs> Nice vocals too. Dude, these guys are shredding, oh my god.
Oh my god, their arrangements are so sick. Wow. The shimmering keys in the background. Wow. <laughs> Club mix of this for 14 minutes, I would listen to it. I like it at 550. <laughs> but it is so fantastic. Oh my God, that's brilliant. <laughs> That's fair. I love how loudly they mix their vocals for this. The violins pinned hard, right? The other pluck strings pinned hard left. I don't know that there is a switch up to this one. It's just two minutes, 15 seconds. This one might just be pretty and chill. Unless it transitions into something crazy on the next track. No, just a fade out. Next track is Do Hot Girls Like Chords? I don't know, I'll have to ask my wife if she likes chords. <laughs> Here you go, Blair. Here you go. I don't doubt that you'll get it. You never know where they take it. The siren? There are some pads here.
Oh. Hey, Riley, you are, man. Thank you so much. What's good? This is tough, dude. Oh my god! <laughs> this is this year. I have goosebumps all throughout my body. <laughs> Get checked. <laughs> Vaxxed? <laughs> oh man, what a brilliant song. I can't wait for the tier list video this year, dude. There's so much good music. Wait, did Viper drop this year? <laughs> I still really want to listen to Tizo Touchdown. That was my whole thing. Yachty's the worst part about his own album. This little break, a little sweeter. safe because it was like his first album to come out and like knowing that a big spotlight was on him after showing up on Travis's album and Drake's although Drake's wasn't out yet when he dropped his wouldn't surprise me if he played it a little safe but sounded great on the Travis record. Everything he did on Drake's album sounded awesome too. I think Ride the Dolphin is like one of the simpler songs that they've made so far. It's nice, I like it. I like it really as just a brief respite from from the chaos of that last track. It's not the best, but it's okay. See, it was missing some of that. It was missing some of the sauce. <laughs> Are getting deep. Hey, Grim Reap, it's hard to go to sleep. I 
Oh, this one's gonna be nice. Yeah, now we're talking. Let's go. Love the bass line. I like this one. The drums and the perks go so crazy, dude. I like how fast paced this is, the energy behind it, the bass line's so tight. Love these keys. Hey, yeah. The sax. Yeah, dude, we have. Music's been great this year, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Shouldn't be hard. This is the last track. Let's see what they do for the, the outro to the project.
was not expecting them to be so straightforwardly smooth with the with the outro, but I do think this is very pleasant and sweet. You were here for most of it, I think. Definitely feels like an outro, yes. Key change, very smooth. I like this, man. We get some like grand strings here. Yes, dude. This song doesn't feel like it's over five minutes long, god damn. That's an A tier album. And like, I really only don't want to say it's S tier because I've only heard it once. And I think uh, Ride That Dolphin was a little, a little, eh, you know, kind of like just slightly above average. Whereas everything else was very, very exciting. I think exciting is a great word for it, man. It's so different. It's so impressive. It's so gorgeous. It can be so fast paced and chaotic sometimes, but the arrangements are just so tight and everything is so well crafted. And it's like, God, the, the talent to all of the musicians is just surreal. And the singer's vocals are so sweet. Just awesome energy, very uplifting, fun, just pure fun to listen to. This is a blast, man. Yeah, it's, it, it definitely sounds like one that e gets even better the longer you listen to it, man. Oh, you got, if anyone who's a fan of production and, and, and instrumentals um, needs to give this a listen. God, that's so nice. That's so nice. It's, it's definitely going to be very, very high on my end of the year album tier list. Like, I know, I know this is going to be up there. I loved it. Tepper, thank you so much for putting me onto these guys, man. These guys in Clowncore are just so riveting, the shit that they do. You know? So much fun. 
It's just so much fun. Thank you so much. And those of you that are watching this video, thank you as well. I told you how you could support the channel at the start of the video, so go back and choose one and, and you know, support however you see fit. I greatly appreciate it. All of it. Thank you all so much. I'll see you guys next time. Stay safe. Mike? We good? <laughs> Just as I was doing the outro? Stay safe till next time, I guys. I will not ever own an NFT. That's a fact. We good? I'll do the outro again. <laughs> nah, I'm not going to do the outro again. Peace out, guys. Stay safe.